Hey what is up guys, Tava here, and with the recent release of new drones like the DJI Mavic Mini, or just other beginner drones with easy to use functionalities and cameras that don't really have much control, it brings up the question on how to color grade this footage to make it look the most cinematic, because out of the drone it looks alright, but it doesn't look very cinematic. So in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you my workflow entirely inside of Final Cut Pro, although it does use some free plugins but entirely inside of Final Cut Pro, how I basically edit and color grade and enhance my footage from these cheaper drones to make it look higher end and more cinematic, which is something that everyone wants and strives for in their drone footage. The main reason why you'd want to enhance your footage is because you don't want to buy as expensive of a drone or you want a smaller product, but you still want to be able to get footage that looks like professional big drones. And that's what I think this tutorial helps to accomplish with your footage. So let's get started. All right, so first up, you're gonna to want to drag your footage into your timeline. And this is a shot right here I have if I play it back, you're going to see it's a simple tracking shot of my drone. This is shot on the DJI Spark 1080p at about 30 frames per second. I think it downscaled it to 24 frames per second. It's not too special of a shot, but I think it looks pretty cool. So it's a great place to start with this technique on color grading. So the first thing you're going to notice with footage shot from cheaper drones is that the colors aren't exactly professional looking and they do look a little video like. As you can see in the shot, all of the colors kind of look like they were shot on a phone or on a video camera, which isn't exactly ideal for the shots that most people want to go for. It just looks a little bit video-like and not film-like. So to fix this, I did a bunch of corrections over in the color inspector area just to adjust these colors to make them seem a bit better. Of course, you can try to duplicate these effects I'm going to show you on your own, but if you don't want to, I'm going to leave most of them in a single preset which you can download in the description below and just import into Final Cut Pro to just drag onto your footage and instantly have this color grade, but I'm going to explain it anyway. So first up, I added some hue and saturation curves, and if I turn it on, you can see it doesn't do much, but basically all I did was I just reduced the saturation of the shot as a whole. So I kind of removed a lot of those really bright blue colors in the shadows as well as some of the greens. Next I added some color curves and if I turn it on you can see it completely removes contrast from the image and if I go into the inspector for it you can see in the luma settings for the color curves I kind of just raised the shadows a tad, lowered the midtones as well as the highlights and I did this because if you look at the original footage I think that these beginner drones add way too much contrast to the shots and it just makes it look a lot worse than it should be. Also since the footage is usually only shot in 1080p or 2.7k, the quality with the over sharpening makes it look like it's overcompensating for the quality which further degrades the image in my opinion. So by removing some of the contrast I think it adds back to the shot and makes it look more dynamic. And then to further this I added another color board so if I turn this on you can see that the shot gets a little bit flatter and if I go into this you can see that I just raised the shadows and midtones a tiny bit and then lowered the highlights just so I could pull a bit more dynamic range from the top as well as just making it seem more balanced. So if I just cycle from before and then after you can just see it makes the shot look a little bit softer and more dynamic which I think is a really important aspect. And then finally to compensate some of the contrast that I removed I added a little bit of sharpening just 1.5 it really doesn't do much but just adds a tiny bit of detail into the shot which makes it look higher resolution. So all four of these effects will be in a preset down in the description below that you can download and just apply to get this look right here. Just as a warning though the next things I'm going to apply to this footage are a bit more complicated but I'll try to explain it the best I can and it really shouldn't be that hard to understand. So the next thing I add to my footage is called the anamorphic special which if I turn it on you can see it completely changes the footage but it makes it look a lot more cinematic in my opinion so this is how you do it. So the anamorphic special is actually a free plugin for Final Cut Pro that you can get and I will of course leave the download link below and I made a video specifically on it so if you want to watch a tutorial for that you can find that below as well. But basically what we're going to do is go to fcpxfree.com you'll just add to downloads you'll just download this effect add it to Final Cut Pro where you can find it in your effects manager and then just drag the anamorphic special over your footage to add this effect. As you can see here, it squeezes in the image a little bit just to give it that widescreen feel as well as adding the cinematic bars on the top and bottom, which are pretty cool and universal. But that's a relatively easy process and if you wanna see how you do it and more specifics on the settings and everything, like I said, watch the video link down below. And then finally, the most important part of this whole process and the color grading is the actual color grade. So for the color grading, I'm going to be using a plugin from Motion VFX, which is called MLUT. If I turn it on, you can see it completely color grades my footage in just one click. And this plugin allows you to load 
LUTs, which are basically just color grades in little preset form where you can just apply them and then adjust the settings accordingly. So the MLUT plugin, like the Anamorphic Special, is another free plugin for Final Cut Pro. So what you can do is just download this plugin from the link down below and you can just go to this website from Motion VFX. You go to Professional LUT Loading Tool and get it now, it's free. So it's super easy to do. You can just install it instantly and you'll have it in Final Cut Pro. It's super useful for a lot of different things and just color grading in general. So in this case, I have a specific LUT applied to the footage and as you can see, you can adjust the percentage that it applies. So you can either have it really strong or not as much. I kept it around 40% because I think that looks pretty good. And also if you want to download this specific LUT, I will too leave that in the description down below. So a lot of free things that you can download to make your footage look the best that I think it can. Of course, all these settings that I applied depend on your personal taste and opinion on how the footage should look. So of course, everything is adjustable in the settings. You can change it to however you want, but this is just kind of a basis that I think starts the process in the right direction for enhancing that drone footage. I think personally one of the most disappointing things is getting a drone and then looking at the footage and seeing how because you don't have those manual controls inside of the app where you can shoot flat or you can shoot log and adjust the white balance and all those things, the footage comes out looking rather disappointing in the first place. But what's really awesome about this is that you have the opportunity to change it later in post and just make your footage look better than you even knew it could be. So you can see what these effects do to a whole range of different drone shots and types. Here is a short segment of different clips with these effects applied onto them so you can have a good idea and see if you wanna duplicate it for yourself. like this video be sure to like share and subscribe and i'll see you all next time